Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing a video game called Vanzo 2. We, we started World 3 yesterday. This is what we managed to get. Like, we've explored a big chunk of the world other than this place here that's left. And as you can see, we didn't get all that many things. Truck zone! With the money. If you got a money truck, come and see me. That guy has a hammer. Yes, sir. Yeah, so th is this where the painting was happening? I'm hearing a Jinjo. Don't th relax. I gotta read the sign here. Ring the bell to win top prize. Hell yeah. Ringing it. Uh, oh, now you gotta ring it more. I'm gonna drill it. Okay. Oh, and it keeps going up. Does the height matter? I don't know. Uh, just jump normally? Huh, it's like, it stopped going up. Okay, how does this work? You do that, and it goes up a little bit. And then you do that, and it doesn't go up a little bit. So both types of landing did that. Ha! <laughs> I just blow it up. <laughs> sure. Hey, Jiggy. Uh, uh, ooh, this is a high spot, and that's a great time to look around. Uh, and I was hearing help somewhere. So there's a main entrance. There's more notes. There's maybe a thing there I want to go. And there's like a door or something in the way of observing more than that. Sweet. Fantastic. Is there a way to interact with this? Yes, there is a way to interact with that central pillar. You can go up. Hey, that's familiar to something we live in this place. You end up here and it's like, wow. Do a jump. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, I can do that. Hey, buddy. How do you do with your hammer? Do you like the hammer? Alright, well I guess I'm getting myself involved with this. Yeah, that's right, roping! I pressed the button. Oh, and I'm going back. So I guess that gives me the ability to now go forward. Press B! Oh, hey, here's uh, the transformation zone. Cross the space zone. Well, I don't know if I want to do that yet. But it is there. Because I'm here in, like, western zone. Alright, so, can I just go up here? I cannot, actually. Fantastic. Have some notes. Can I go on the edge of that? Yeah, and from there, I can do the precarious jump here and destroy the Pistachio Brothers. This is hiding in a hole. Hole made of sand. That's where we hang out tonight. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to transform now, but I mean, that'll be a great next step. I saw Warpath, I guess it's a little bit higher. It's like slow version of the theme. And there's another truck house! Gee, okay. Um, maybe or maybe not, someone out there is making an association. Is there a Globo in your place? There is! That's where the Globo, it's right there. Like, for real here. I guess I might as well just chuck it now. I'm not gonna transform now, though. I don't feel this is the time. But I'm gonna give it to you. This is- this might be a mistake, but it's a mistake I'm doing willingly! Because I can just warp back here anytime now, whenever I feel like we're at the transformation layer of this place. Because we're not done with just the walking around. So I have access to Space World, which was fenced off. That's right. So I heard a Jinjo here, so it's probably on the other side of that wall thing. I did not mean to be hanging onto these stairs. Fantastic. But why are you making vampire noise? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, that's just what possums do, I guess. Here we go. Like we heard a Jinjo cry, and I think it would make sense if it's over there. Yeah, there it is. Whoa, it's white. There you go. Okay. 
Check it out, little guy. How are you doing tonight? Are you doing all right? Yeah, okay. So, the white Jinjo, family of one. So, we see what happens when we get all the Jinjos. <laughs> he zooms right here. I don't know if it does this every time, but goes to... Yeah, the white Jinjo family of one is complete. There you go. Phew! I thought... I mean... For all things, you know, considered, you weren't that far off. But that's okay. And there you go. And you get a Jiggy. It's not a Jiggy associated with the world. This is a Jiggy associated, if you look here, with uh, the Isle of Hag. Right here. So you got 2 out of 10. So all the Jiggies we see here are almost all definitely going to be based on Jinjos and not finding them. I think you're aware by now there's no witch buttons to press this time. Which, fair enough, like it's an interesting way of doing- Oh, one of the childs. And there's a move, I could just get out of here. You want fries, got it. I feel like I should do like the first run. There's a split path that we unlocked outside. There's a man I destroyed in slow motion. There's grating for the pump room. Can I just blow that up? I sure can. See, yeah, like when you find something cracked, just blow it up as early as you can. Oh, you're trouble. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't do that. All right, well, uh, you keep on keeping on. Hey, what? Forget it! Oh! So it's a banjo-only move, and that's how those happen. Wait, how do you unlock progress, then? I have no idea. Yeah, you want fries. Of course. So whenever, like, you kind of have to be able to decode what they're- who they're talking about. But considering that he called a person a flea bag and then just kind of left it to that, and then, um, you know, Kazoo is the one that reacted. I'm guessing this is what's supposed to happen. Wait, can you go in the pump room or is it just that hexagon? Like, is that hexagon just a hexagon you can't miss? Because that'd be funny. Hey, check it out! Time to learn to pack whack! Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round its wings, bumps and bruises, two baddies it brings. So that's all moves. I got- okay, so I guess to progress... Oh, I see where this is going to happen. Alright. Okay. So, like, not a fantastically, like, uh, exciting ability, but an important one nonetheless, and it lets him, like, hover. Can you continue down there? Because I just kind of stopped. Okay, so it's just an hexagon you, you can't miss. It is, like, literally just there. Pump Master 2! That's right. Oh, look at that. There's a little split here. There's a little button there. With different faces on them. Pretty wild! I wonder what that means. An impossible challenge to understand. Uh, indeed, friend. Uh, indeed. Alright, so I guess this is the challenge. So you get these things, alright. Whoa, that... There's some wind-up for this thing. Also, it's just an empty pack. It's not gonna hurt all that much, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so get up here, get up here. Whoa, wild. And remember when he talked about Swap Cloud? Uh, whoa, wild! That's what that looks like. Uh, and here, it's like, oh, a button was pressed. Then you press a button, then the button is pressed. Uh, Check it out, I'm Bird! So when they lost health as a unit, they both end up losing health, I guess? Is that is that how it works? That's interesting. I'm a little bird! She does look kind of like a roadrunner, honestly. Like, that's the vibe she gives me. Oh, there's a sign on top. There's a sign, like, right on top of this sweet machine. 
And so we require the castle to grow. We did it. There we go. Big castle. Big. Oh, and we got a shock pad. Okay. Sure. And we get a person going fwee wee. That's the best part. All right, guy, dude, guy, dude. Gah, indeed. I live for the guhs. All right, what do you got to say? Sign uh, to ring the bell requires three different strikes. Oh, oh, the the smash down the thing. Okay, yeah, I did that kind of by accident. <laughs> Accidents count. Uh, and all the people are responding. It's pretty good. So yeah, now that I have all the moves, like, there's so little to do. I'm tempted to leave this for later, since we will have to return. But... I'm also interested... Okay, there's nothing here, though. For now... I think it's fair to assume. Like, why would they put that there, right? Um... But I still want to go to Space World. I'll just give her the fries now, because she's bothering me. Like, I should just do that part, too. Just... It's there. Like, just do it. Just do it, man. Hey, you! I heard you're in the fries business. Why is it... Everyone seems giant compared to these two. Hell yeah! Yeah, actually, I do want that. Did I never speak to her? Him? I'm pretty sure I did. Well, thank you for the effort. You did? Okay, so it sounds to me like they're making a repeating dialogue joke for NPCs, except it's the first time he said it, so that's just weird. Well, that was the exchange we had. Uh, full of positivity. Alright, you. Small girl bear. How do you gotta be on your shirt? Dress. No, I'm just gonna put it in front of your face and tease you with the fact that I can just get food. And I don't even pay for it. Yeah, see, so she just returns to mom directly. Um, but the big guy is too big. Alright, we opened this up. It'd be silly not to go in, so let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Into the home and house. Oh, you need to get here either as just Kazooie or as a bear. See, 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 that's how they split things up. That's how the world works. We're flying! Balloon Burst game! Welcome to the Balloon Burst Challenge! 60 seconds in which to score 50 points. I'll do it! Uh, at some point I will stop. Okay, yeah, so we got balloons. Shoot the balloon. Balloon shoot! Three points for a blue. That one's farting. All right, so think about one-up balloons from Donkey Kong Country. All right, so yeah, uh, this is the thing this game is gonna start doing. Mini games. So I am given golden eggs, so I can just egg it up wherever I want, forever. I can just hold it and pat. I don't even need to tap it. But you know, the thing is, balloons appear in spots in the universe. Uh, not always in places that are obvious to see or get. Yeah, like, where are things? I don't know. How did that blue balloon not pop? Uh, I don't know. Right, so I remember this place on console being, like, hilariously unplayably laggy. Seems a little better here. Uh, I don't know, even then, I'm not sure if I'm gonna win. Okay, come on, alright, got you guys. Okay, got the blue there. Yeah, uh, I don't know how disorienting this is if you're not the one actively playing. I don't think I won, though. Like, I'm just... I'm just... I'm just not looking at the right places. No price for me! But then she's like, you wanna play again? And I'm like, alright.
How did all of those miss? Okay, so I beat the threshold, scored enough points to win your Balloon Burst Prize! Hell yeah, I did that. And that's why we have access to the castle all this time. It's right up top of there. Do you want to play again? No. I don't think there's a reason to, right? I think there are some games you can play like twice, but like I feel like they give you a reason to. Like they'll tell you, oh, but if you do get this higher score, then something's gonna something. I think the game tells you. I'm not. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, like Canary Mary was very obvious with that. And I think like you know it's kind of related to that. Split it up. Re-split it up. Re-split it up. <laughs> there you go. I'm a bird now. I can open. Well, I won't. You don't even open it. It will be open. The place where it is. Yeah. See, this is how it works. And there we can see that it was Bear Bird door. It all makes sense. Speed shoes. Those exist. <laughs> Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Challenge. You have 60 seconds in which to score points. Uh, do you want to hear the rules? Hell yeah! I love rules. So pretty simple, so hey. Blue you jump through the hoop, blue one or we're three, there's gonna be a green one, I bet. Yeah, uh-huh. Where's is there gonna be a bigger Oh man So this is a pattern that we will see a few times. Go! Alright, check it out. Uh, I need these probably. Oh boy, I can barely see anything. I probably just want to do that, so I always have, like, the camera behind me. How do you... Uh, oh boy, this is... Go! Okay. Okay, that counted. Great. That is not counting. Cool. So remember Jabu Jabu's Belly? That's a completely different game. Remember Clunker's Belly, where you jump through hoops in a specific order? This is kind of that, but there's no specific order. Instead, it's just kind of weird and bad feeling a little bit. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the, they do disappear after a while. You don't really bounce in this bouncy castle. You just kind of get evaporated into the stratosphere instead. Which I think is an improvement. I think it will very collect, connect with the youths of today. Okay, well that went alright, all things considered. I was kind of flailing. What? Yeah, that's right! Hell yeah, I did, uh, Gruntilda! Pause as the world has to load this scene to make this happen. And then just kind of pan, pause, load the insides again. No! And there we go, bird victory. I'm gonna be real. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna explore Space World in the hope of getting like the rest of the notes of this place. And after that, I can see myself going to like the next world, honestly. Because I got some tools. I know we're not gonna be able to do everything here. So it's like I don't want to get too invested with this place, if that makes sense. I, um, to me, it makes sense, but I don't know if it makes sense. Like, for real, out there in the outer world. Uh, look at that. Ladder is nice and politely installed in such a way where accessing here is real nice and easy. Uh, Alright, so you go on here, then you press attack. Uh, check it out, we got to ride the monorail. We are riding an actual ride here at Witchy World. There's that boots. There's a ginger on the roof. I don't know how you get on the roof. Oh no, we've been here before, just not on top of this. Uh, okay, well there's an hexagon there. It's subtle. Yeah. How would I get that? So yeah, a jump isn't enough. If I go here... Like, I'm not... Okay. But, like, more high... No. 
Oh, there you go. That was super awkward. Like, enough that I genuinely wonder if that was the intent. Uh, but the goal of this seems to be to access to here, where there's a guy patrolling, obviously. Is there not a pipe? The pipe is up there. Alright, let's go on this pipe then instead. Here we go, on top of Space World. Oh, I can't do anything here. Okay... Uh, can you climb that structure? It looks like it might have a climbing texture. I feel like they're more obvious than that. Why did I go here? Because, like, there's things there, clearly. There's a thing there to grapple, grapple, grapple. Oh, there's the climbing. Okay, okay. So that's what I missed, I think. That lets you get to here, so no, I guess then you do have to do that. Oh, from here you probably can just jump to that pipe. Okay, and that other thing is a return pipe. Got it. There's a hole there. Does that mean anything? I guess not. Alright. Love me a big old nothing. Like, that's clearly meant to be an obstacle, so maybe I can't do what I'm going here yet for. It's possible. So here's... A button to make that happen. Okay, so it's gonna be nominally less work in the future if you want to go here. All right, big platform here. Fantastic. Big button though. Oh hey, and remember when we, yeah, exploded the wall here, and this box was hovering to the entrance. Was like, whoa, check it out. It's me, box. I'm a box. Well, they are free, and we'll land here. Check it out, it's a UFO. Alright, well, it'd be silly not to do whatever this is. Bleep! Uh, the Saucer of Peril. Hell yeah. Oh. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah! There was a pad with Mambo. So, in the future... I'll have to redo this path, or come back from Glitter Cove or something. Okay, okay. And yeah, I don't even know where Mumbo is yet in this world. Is Jinjo on the tent? And I wonder if I can get there. Like, how would I get on top of the tent? Can you walk these ropes? Because that's what it boils down to. Like, are these ropes solid objects? Because yeah, like, the next step would be to do the transformation with uh, the lady? Since I have all the moves, I feel compelled to instead... Yeah, spring shoes that I can't use. Yeah, so we're gonna be needing things I don't have. So I think that next time we're opening up the next HUD and we're gonna check what's going on there. I think that's what makes the most sense to me. Like, we did what we could. There's another layer to access things. Ooh, and I bet you can use the spring shoes to uh, get lost completely. Yeah, I bet that is true. But I bet that lets you, like, you hoof it, hoof it all the way here. And you can jump over the, like, these electric fences. And that's where the rest of the action is. Alright. Alright. I mean, that makes sense to me. Next time, yeah. New world. More moves, more possibility. Uh, what? What? What is it? Yeah, I gave the food away. Okay. No, I mean, that's fine. Like, I I guess we didn't give our whole burger and fries? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that was kind of weird. But okay. Man, I hope they're still there. Okay, it saved getting those. I was a little worried. What do you mean this is recorded later when I looked at the footage in Premiere and noticed that, whoops, I didn't actually collect these note uh, puzzle pieces. Never happened. Uh, you are talking fully tomfooleries.